everybody I'm back and happy Sabbath to everyone how's everyone doing I pray that everyone is doing fine and well all right let me give you an update on my daughter as far as her acid reflux she's doing much much better yes she is now when Lee ends up going the other way and eating something that she's not supposed to be eating then she brought on herself when I was over there for the past uh, two weeks and a half I was just you know opening cabinets and seeing what she's cooking and you know and I just you know told her I said well let's kind of change it up a bit so I sat down with her and I told her to tell me all the things that she's eating everything and drinking and how she's doing it and if she's eating past a certain times which she should not eat I mean 630 is the breaking point because this is when your body starts to rest the body's going to be resting like Christ resting like today on the Sabbath resting the mind and the body so that the body can recuperate that's the mind as well you see so she would tell me certain things that she can eat and she cannot eat and it's a shame there's a lot of fruits and vegetables that she cannot eat and a lot of you are going through that so once I saw the list I was like hmm okay now I need to know any sweets or anything. She gave me that. Now here, she gave me a few things that she would, I asked her, what are some of the things that she you know, would take by mouth to give her some relief. She said chewing gum, watermelon, and ice water, which is dangerous. A lot of people don't realize, realize that, excuse me. Ice water is not a healthy thing because when you're drinking something that's cold you're causing it to constrict okay it's already warm and it's like you see a fire and you just pour it out well think about it like that you notice how some people would drink and eat drink and eat and they'll get a bellyache one reason is because you're not supposed to do that you you flush away the enzymes the enzymes are there to help break down your food. It starts here. Digestion starts with the mouth. Your eyes see the food. And the brain sends a message. Your mouth gets watery. And that's the enzymes preparing to break down your food. But sometimes we eat one, two, three. be so good. I know, I know. You just eat so quick. And then it's not chewed down, mushy. So then the stomach is overworked. The pancreas have to release enzymes to help break down your food even more. And then we're looking at two to five hours in the stomach just to break down, let alone the intestines. Okay, and then you have the colon. It may take 10 to several days. And this is one of the reasons why people are constipated. Now, after that, I told her, I said, let's do this. Let's go through all the stuff that she's eating and let's replace it. You take something away, you replace it with something healthy. Okay. Now, there were certain things that she couldn't eat, even healthy foods, fruits or vegetables. So, you know, I played around with it, and everything that I cooked was with olive oil. If I stir fried it or steamed it, when I say stir fry, I put mostly water, and it will be low just to get the veggies soft enough. She has to eat it soft. She can't eat like raw broccoli or anything like that or tomatoes. Tomatoes definitely out. No, nothing spicy. Everything had olive oil and a little bit of uh, Himalayan sea salt. That's the best she can do. And I did the same with the lentils. So after that, I told her, let's do this for 30 days just to see and to give the tummy a break we have to give our stomach a break we constantly eating 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 I mean I see people just eat 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 and they, they don't they don't get it because in their mind they're telling themselves I gotta eat I gotta eat now what I did I said let's do this let's get some olive oil and we'll take two of these okay now I'm speaking on experience in the past Talk about we 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 we're talking about maybe 10 years ago yes two tablespoons and we're gonna do it twice a day now if she has a flare-up it's because she ate something she knows she's not supposed to be eating and I don't know because she says it's only when I eat this only when I eat that and I said well stop eating it 
You must like pain. Some of you like pain. You're hard-headed. See? Mm -mm. Now, the olive oil must say unrefined in the back. This brand here, okay, I noticed that this brand also has, it'll say, extra olive oil. That's it. So I'm going to give a call to the company and find out why is it like that. So I keep these bottles just to show. Now I know that Food Lion in my area has the one that says 100% natural unrefined extra virgin olive oil. Okay, so I have another one. This is almost gone. And they have another brand, I think in one of my playlists, uh, well in my cooking playlist vegan and vegetarian we got to do is try to find it and I believe I had if not I'll find it I'll put it down there below excuse me so it must say that and the reason being it's because there's a chemical compound inside here and it's called oleo oleocanthal oleocanthal and that chemical compound when it's released into the body, it has like, they say, a burning sensation. It's not a burning sensation. It's like a stinging. Well, that chemical, chemical compound, excuse me, what it does, it releases an enzyme in your body, into your body, into your stomach. And it's equal to ibuprofen. Yes, medication. And it blocks the pain. It blocks the pain. And so I tried it. I, I don't feel like um, trying it now, but I'll go ahead and do it just to let you guys know how it tastes. Whew! Okay, here it goes. Alright, here's a teaspoon. And I'll express to you what I feel, what I taste, and everything so you know. It's similar to, but this is light because it's olive oil, so work with me. It has a, like a, a mild, like if you would have hot sauce, but not hot. That there, when you take that, it soothes. It blocks the pain while triggering enzymes. Very powerful stuff. Yes, so your olive oils has to say that in the, in, the, in the back of your bottle. If it doesn't, you got some cheap one. I don't care what they say. You see how they're pushing olive oil, olive oil? Because they know people are wanting to eat healthy. So they'll put whatever on there. So I, I began to do my research two years ago. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I changed. And I began to really study the plant, the fruit. Because I like to study... The chemistry of it of whatever plant or whatever fruit and I learned that this here olive oil unrefined helps not only with those things that I said heal the lining of your stomach and so she doesn't have any problems now if Lee will do this every day even though it's not that's gonna help her read my disclaimer okay I'm speaking on testimony on the past, I remember eating certain things when I was eating meat, and I was like, oh no. And someone introduced me to that, and when I started college, my professor told me about this, totally forgot about it, and I was trying other things. I never took antacid or anything like that, and I'm so glad I did, because all that would have done long term is destroy the lining of my stomach. Okay? So, I was very happy and pleased to hear that so if she eats something prior to doing this she ate something she knows she's not supposed to do so I just wanted to come in real quick and show you this video or do this video show you this video and you must understand how important it is to not to not continue to eat the way you're eating if you have acid reflux. If you have that, you need to make a change. You need to start now. Now she, you know, like ice cream and stuff, you gotta come away from the sugars. You gotta come away from the processed food, sodas, the chewing gum, you name it. It should be fruits, grains, nuts, and seeds. If you eat fish, fine. If you eat meats, 
consider that meat is 70 percent acidic so you're going to have problems with that along with other things so you have to make the choice if you're tired of pain then stop eating like the world just stop altogether but if you plan on doing that replace something so that you don't have to suffer I cannot imagine not be able to eat certain things like my bananas and my apples be able to enjoy avocados and just cook my foods period without you know just going through all that, that that's, I don't see how some of y'all do it but just remember this olive oil is just the beginning you have to incorporate other things so that you can be on your way to healing your stomach alright so I just want to give you a health nugget today and give you an update on my daughter Lee I still you know call and say okay uh, what do you have today and this should apply to her family too so she's a mother she is the one who's supposed to cook the food and she needs to know what she put in her mouth as well as my grandchildren so with that said I'll see you in the next video